two. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Roller Dome. Sorry about the technical difficulties. A massive crowd has come in. This is definitely the biggest crowd of the year till. Oh, yeah. And so it should be. What technical difficulties, Drewy? <laughs> it's all good. Three minutes to tip off. Giddy Let's up. go. I think I need another JD. Guys, so as we get edge closer to tip off tilt, I, I'd be remiss of me to ask a prediction from the mercurial Sean Tilby. What do you think is going to transpire here tonight on this court, Till? Yeah, well, if you want a, a flat out prediction or something a little bit grayer, because I think I'm, I'm better with gray answers. <laughs> Gold Coast, Reese Martin, LJ Rose. They have to sh they have to control the tempo of the game. They have to stop Wiltshire. If Crawford's going, throw a few different things at him. But I think it's Reese and LJ Rose. If they can control the game, the big guys stay out of trouble. I think this one's uh, Gold Coast for the taking. But uh, I do not like writing off the chances of the Townsville Heat team. They've been to the finals too many times. They know what to do. But uh, it's definitely a Gold Coast for the taking tonight. So let's right. see what happens. All right, Till was put it out there. Gold Coast rollers to get through. I think the rollers are going to get it done, but I think we're going to have one barn burner of a game, Till. I am excited for this one. And of course, not forgetting the rollers girls taking on the very same Townsville flames up there in Townsville tonight right now uh, big task in front of them Maria Amora has been sublime in the last oh, she two months she has been one hell of an addition she and was uh, on fire last week there is no doubt about it Luna Castro I was 17 last week I was, ex I was just about to say I'm expecting big things from Jackie yeah. Luna Castro tonight she's going to light it up because I don't I cannot see that happening two weeks in a row but and, uh, and she has the unenviable task of taking on Abby Bishop who is quite formidable at the QBL level and uh, if she can do a job on Abby Bishop the girls are in with the show there as we get we're 10 seconds away from getting things underway here too and uh, very very exciting big crowd here at the Roller Dome and starting for the Gold Coast Rollers we're going to see LJ Rose the one and only the Mercurial Reese Martin Spencer Parker TJ Chop and the ageless Stalo Green and for the Townsville Heat we're going to see Josh Wilshire starting at the point guard Betts Matty Rees in the middle. Number 42, Keegan Tudicorp. And who, what's that number there? Is that number nine? Mines. Jonathan Mines. Ah, uh, Jonathan Mines, yes. So here we go, guys. Getting a game underway. As we are underway here and the Rollers win the tip. TJ off the baseline. Not shy. Good yeah. first look for TJ. A good stop here. Spencer comes away with it. Yeah. And the Rollers get a stop on their first possession. LJ can't make the pay. Oh. Coming off Wilch's foot there, but a couple of good looks for the rollers. Didn't haven't knocked them down. And two turnovers already for Townsville, so everyone wants to settle into this one in a second. Let those nerves calm down a bit. Lewis with a nice offensive rebound. Everyone bit tentative early, TJ from the top of the key. Uh, uh, that's TJ's shot. 
Good offensive boards from Reese. Creating second opportunities there, but TJ, he loves that uh, free throw jumper. Oh, nice take there, Keaton Chudhope. Oh, and that's some good D there from Ethan Betts causing the rollers turnover. So good sequence of play there for Townsville. Wiltshire exploring up a pick and roll. I'm going to think we're going to see a steady diet of that high pick and roll with Wiltshire coming off and and making the decision. And if the rollers can guard that well, we'll definitely be... Wow. As Jonathan Mines gets Spencer Parker in the air there. That hurts. Mm. Shot clock's going off. And a good head fake. And oh, full credit to Mines there. He sold that pretty well. Yeah, he certainly did. Spencer Parker. He gives up three shots and that first one is down. Jonathan Mines, ice cold from the the foul line. Can he make it three for three? He certainly can. So, Townsville by three. Till, it's a tantalizing matchup of Reese Martin and uh, Wilshire. So, two very experienced players. Thalo Green, oh. Getting to the rack. Oh, that's smooth. Thalo, that running left hand. Oh See more of that. Good hands in there from Chew to hope to knock it loose, but. You would think after Thalo's been oh, in the league door. for 20 years, they would know he's going left. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. LJ Rose just falling asleep there on split line. Nice find there from, I think that was Tudor Hope as Bet snuck in behind and he's going to get two shots here. So a couple of breakdowns really on uh, for the rollers on defense. Mm. That never looked like going in. to foul at the end of the game if it's close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that'll, that'll do wonders for his confidence from the foul line. So we see Spencer Parker, Reese Martin, wide open at the top of the key. And you can't yeah, that's a great look there from Spencer. You can not, not give a, a player the caliber of Reese Martin that look like that. He's going to make it. Oh, great defense there. But who, do, who do you know comes away with it? The one and only. Oh, yeah, good work, Spencer. Staying with it there. Oh. Is that a delay of game? Because he took so long to shoot it at us, he just shook him out of his shoes. Is that what happened just then? I think uh, I think the Townsville guy was Townsville player was probably doing up his shoes, mate. Tighter. Uh, yeah, nice move. So another high screen. I tell you what, Wilshire Wilshire's gonna have have his work cut out for him and with. Uh, with Reese Martin guarding him, that's for sure. Yeah, well, when Reese turns up the D, like we're seeing he is doing now, he, he's such a well balanced player, just like Wiltshire, so it'll be a, it's going to be a good contest. Roll is a little sloppy on this possession. Oh. It hasn't been long, or he's going to see Peter Crawford checking into the game. And I love the energy from the roller dome right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, so here's our first look at uh, Peter Crawford. See how he's moving. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Can I extend the pressure up the floor of LJ Rose? I'll tell you what, Crawford, he want to be 100% guarding LJ. <laughs> Spencer. Oh. Good look. Oh. The bites of the cherry there for the rollers. Working hard and Thalo Green and Fell is on the ground. But uh, everyone's just got to, I think, calm there or get a bit of composure right now. Oh, okay. Good hands there from Reeves. Tough pass, really, from Spencer. I'd rather see him shoot that one. Yeah, that's one thing the Rollers don't want to do tonight is have too many turnovers. You cannot give a, a side the caliber of the Townsville Heat too many bites of the cherry. Yeah, speaking of bites of the cherry, there's a uh, big Matt Reese on the offensive glass and a foul on TJ too. So. A good look from Wiltshire. He couldn't get that one to go. We're going to see Petrie for the first time here. Is it staggered? Well, Matty Reese makes no mistake. So... The roll is 10, Townsville 8, five minutes to go in this first quarter. It's been a spirited game so far. There's a little bit of a, was it matchup zone I saw there? Yeah, they went out of the free throw into a press, fell back into a zone. Well, you can't leave Peter Crawford open like That's that. a good way for Peter Crawford to warm up. A wide open three as he knocks it down. Yeah, it's so not, we're not going to make Coach Conlon very happy. <laughs> I don't know whether Thalo's caught the slap in the face or the ball's just... You got him in the face there. Uh, he's definitely holding his eye. But it's Townsville ball. And no foul called. You know, I, I, I know I'm a Gold Coast boy, born and bred, but it definitely does feel like Gold Coast get no love on their home floor when it comes to the officiating. It's got to be said. Anyway. No call. So we've got Christian Salasic has checked into the game, taking out Thalo Green. Probably a bit shaken up there on that play. Matty Reese and Petrie banging away in the, in the block there. Crawford in the corner. No pump fake. Oh, it gets to the rack. That's too easy. Yeah, good patience. Peter Crawford showing his class there. All the way to the rack. So here's the zone. Slowed the rollers down the last two possessions. As Reese is going to get three at the line here. Gets the foul out of Peter Crawford. Yeah, and uh, it almost went in too. He got it off. Got slapped after the play. So Reese Martin's going to go to the line. And. Uh, this is a very spirited game, Jules. I'm liking what I've seen from both teams. Yeah, both teams making uh, runs and committing silly turnovers at the same time as Reese. Uncharacteristic miss on the second there. So with four minutes to go, it's still a... It's a two-point game as Reese goes one for three there. 
Yeah, wow, you didn't see that much from Reese Martin. A little extended sort of three-quarter court pressure here. As Jonathan Mines says, I'll help myself to three. Yeah, a couple of open shots for Townsville. That kind of hurts. You don't want to let anyone get into a too much of a groove. They want to be shooting over a contest, so the rollers want to clean that up. A bit of contact after there, no whistle. The referees, oh, are definitely letting them play in this one. It's getting a bit chippy. Salasic. Can't buy it. Wilshire is going to attack. He's got Jonathan Mines in support. And the rollers not able to buy one. It's Townsville take it out to a seven point lead till. Yeah, two misses there from Christian from the same spot. It is his shot. against the zone, get to the right. I'm sure they're itching at the bit to get out there. But yeah, it's a couple of defensive breakdowns, open threes, you want to take that away, but there's, there's nothing too serious. It's all pretty obvious and, and easy things to clean up, so. Yeah. And, uh, Probably a lot to say, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, definitely uh, an interesting first quarter. Townsville uh, give them credit, they have come to play and they are here to win this game and move on. So it's a uh, tough first quarter for the Rollers, but we've got three more to go as we get the second quarter underway. And the Rollers will start with the ball down nine in what can only be termed as a physical game out there. Yeah, it, it's been a while since the rollers have been held to 13 points. There's Spencer Parker is exploring the baseline there. Not much room down there. And as just looking around till at the crowd, I definitely think this is the best crowd of the year here in the Gold Coast. Roller Dome is almost sold out. The Stalo Green fighting hard, can't get the user friendly roll. And if the Heat get another stop, and they don't want to leave Wilshire open because he ooh, dodged the bullet there. Definitely dodged the bullet. Another open three. And Rollers fans out there are probably wondering how our girls are going. We'll try and get you an update as soon as we can. The ball is Todd. A little, little too exuberant there. Taylor Green went flying out of bounds, and the referee was having none of it. So, Gold re inbound the ball from the baseline and find Petrie. Sort of stumbled there, didn't he, Till? Yeah, none of these shots are even close at the moment for the rollers. Sort of man, they're getting to the right spot. They just gotta have a bit of bit better composure. Know yeah. that they're, they're doing the right thing. It's Wilcher's happy to fire away again. Oh, that's another silly foul, really, from Jackson Todd. A long way from the hoop. That's second, I think he'll get a rest. I oh know, big Matty Ray is gonna come out. But yeah, rollers, they're in the right spot. No need to rush it. No. There's plenty of time left in this game, Phil. There's a long way to go yet. Rollers just need to... It's almost like the, the physicality has has rattled them a little bit. Yeah, it's, and credit Townsville for the way they're playing. Bit of deflection. LJ Rose got three seconds off from half court. Wow. Well, that helps. What was that 
seconds there, so the referee wanted him to use it straight away. He wasn't allowed to take a dribble, which he did. So, what? yeah, this that's a, a scouting thing that he's seen the role as play against zone as useless. That's the form and the confidence Jared Eustace has been playing with of late, and it's good to see him shoot that with a nice rhythm. He just stepped right into that, and it looked good from the moment it left his hand. But, yeah, that is one way to get a team out of a zone. Yeah, good boards there, Thalo. Going up with two hands strong. Dante Rose through the baseline. Finds Spencer Parker open. All right, a 9-0 run. Forcing a timeout from Townsville. That's got the crowd up. Yeah, the roller dome is high. President Jimmy Williams blowing it. I wonder if I'm yelling into the Thing. Am I yelling into this thing? Feels like I'm yelling into it. <laughs> the Sean the Truth to me jumping out of his seat as consecutive back to back to back triples gets the rollers back tied 22 apiece with the Townsville Heat. And the roller dome is juiced. Bit of extended pressure here from the Townsville Heat. What do we got out of the timeout? A nice look for TJ. I'm trying to get Spencer going, I think. Uh, good look there. That's long. <laughs> Even with big Matt Reeves there, Spencer Parker was still able to finish up over the top. So we've got a tight ball game till three minutes to go in the first half as Betts explores. TJ did enough to worry him out of the points there. And a little sloppy here by the rollers. Christian Salisic finds TJ a little 10 footer, a little bit strong. Good finish from Mines. Take full advantage of that. DJ Jock collected Jonathan. him after the shot there. LJ Rose, that's three points off the park of fine. Just the rollers a one point advantage here. Uh, so. I don't know what happened there, Till. Looks like they caught a foul on TJ. Yeah, so points pretty hard to come by out here. 31-30, almost half time. Yeah, it's been a defensive... Uh, Defensive game, no doubt about it. And, uh, oh, oh, good help from Reese, and gets a deflection there. He's going to go right at Big. Oh, can't finish it, and it pops out of bounds off him as well. So Matt Reese, he did well there to stay out of the way of Reese Martin as he was trying to draw him into a foul. But still, I'd like to say it is a defensive tussle, but both teams really have missed a couple of easy shots. So 
Whoever settles into this one first and starts knocking them down as Wilcher looking to split the double draws a foul. I think on Petrie that one. And uh, good to see young James Morris into the game for his first minutes. Yeah, well, if anyone can knock a couple of shots down, it is James Morris. It's good to see the young fella out there in a game of this magnitude. Uh, yeah, Christian put two hands on him, and I think that... That might be team fouls, or no, that's only the fourth. Let's see if we can get you an update on the uh, other games still. As we get things underway again. A minute 30 to go in this first half. Peter Crawford along the baseline finds Matty Reese. Jace Morris cleans up the scraps. J. Rose exploring, getting ridden all the way. No foul called. Another layup missed to the roller, says Roos. Wow. How did he get that? <laughs> and that, my friend, is called adjusting to how the referees are playing the game. <laughs> Calling the game. Oh, there we go. Jay's Morris. No hesitation. He knocked that thing down from deep. And that's what you want to see from the young fella. As there was some paraphernalia on the court. As uh, Jay's old man right in front of us here too in the commentary box. Absolutely going bananas when Jay's knocked that one down. And it's good to see Coach Conlon showing some faith in his juniors. The younger guys, Jays has been part of this program for a while now, and he certainly has the ability. There's no doubt about that. So, a little score update for you, Till. Okay, the Lady Rollers. Lady Rollers at halftime holding a one point lead over the Townsville. Ooh. Hey, look, pretty similar scoreline. Yeah. <laughs> so, in Townsville, on the road, our Gold Coast Lady. Rollers 34, the Townsville women 33 at half time up there. Can we get a box score of that one, Big Dog? We certainly can. Oh, uh, Wiltshire. Wheeling and dealing. That's a second on LJ. Wiltshire kind of drew the foul out of LJ Rose there. He was a little bit out of control. It's one of those ones that the referees kind of have to call it. Wiltshire's got two. As his struggles continue, I, I know every time I've watched Townsville play, Wiltshire has been the one who has absolutely destroyed the Gold Coast. But he can't really get anything to go down at the moment. He was able to hit the back end of that. Well, when the Rollers played Townsville in Townsville about six weeks ago, Townsville shot 60-something percent from the three-point line. Wow. And they won the game handily, but it was not... The scoreline was definitely not indicative... That's how you move the ball. All five players touched it without it hitting the floor, and it ended up with Reese Martin. Woo! Nice shot, too. Great defense there, Jays Morris. Yeah, way to finish the half for the Rollers. The kids <laughs> swarm onto the court. And till we head into half time, Roller's making a huge little run there. And rolling the half time with a 
a six point lead and given the nature of the game six points is like well they're very hard to come by yeah it's like a like a 12 15 point lead out there so uh, yeah. it's spot on big dog because a lot of both teams a lot of what you'd call easy misses and um pretty much good defensive pressure all around the court as we're starting to look at the lady role as box score here is luna castro she's <laughs> She's got 10, so she's turned it around after last week. Yes. Four. Oh, no. You know, you know, you knew she was going to come out and, and play it play it super hard after last week. So, Jacqueline Castro at the moment, she has 10 points and five rebounds. Ariana Mora, only one for six at the moment with four points, but she's also got four assists and five, five rebounds. She's four of 16. Was that one of six? Sorry. Yeah, one of six. One of six for sixteen percent. <laughs> easy, easy tell. <laughs> My bad. Sean Woods looks like she's putting up a few too. But the Lady Rollers holding a slender one-point lead at halftime, Phil. And let's go and have a look at some of the other games going on. At halftime in, in the Brisbane Rocky game, it's Brisbane 58, Rockhampton 51. So there's a tussle going on there. Well, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot more of an offensive affair. 58 points and a half for Brisbane. They're looking at 116. That's a uh, that's very uncommon in the modern game. And in the other semi-final going on, the Southern District Spartans hosting the Ipswich Force Women. And we've got the Southern District Spartans leading at halftime, 46 to 39. So some some real close games going on around the around the QBL tonight. And as we come back to the Rollers over here, we see the Gold Coast Rollers holding a six-point lead at halftime. Yeah, well, that, was, that all kind of came pretty much in that last two minutes. You know, they had that 9-0 streak where they hit some threes, which, to be completely honest, they needed to do. Um, yeah, it's... Wiltshire, oh, he's going to start to see him go through. You'd, you'd have to expect him to start to hit some shots. It's too much quality. <laughs> yeah. Too much quality to go... Uh, he definitely it's won't. Too long. He definitely won't shoot that poorly in the second half. As we see, all the the future of the Gold Coast Rollers program running out on the floor. Chaos, I think they call that. We'll have a look at some of the stats from this game too. We'll see that uh, Reese Martin leading the rollers, pacing the rollers with 10 points. Jonathan Mines has 12 leading all scorers for the Townsville Heat. Matty Rees with five and Peter Crawford with five for the rollers. The two superstar imports, LJ Rose and Spencer Parker, having eight and seven respectively. Taylor Green, not a surprise to see not a real surprise to see his name high on the rebound count. He's got six. And uh, for any yeah, I'm sure Thaler would give up those rebounds for a couple of those uh, little putbacks to go in. But yeah, Thaler ever present on the glass. And uh, Petrie with four, Reese Martin with four, Lucia has five for the Townsville Heat. So. For all you young junior guards out there, rebounding is not only a big man's game, it is as much the guard's responsibility as it is a big fella's. And the shooting percentages for both team kill are uh, not what you'd class as good. <laughs> but I think in spite of how physical and how hard for this game has been. It's probably not surprising to see the field goal percentage from both teams down a little bit. And uh, like you alluded to just earlier, a few chippies have been missed. Stalo would love to have a couple of them back. Yeah. And probably the same down the other end too. There's been a few down there. 
Yeah, well, uh, like we were speaking about through the call, Betts has done he's done a great job to get into the uh, the paint for Townsville. Unable really to finish off a few of them. I'm sure once they uh, they can get Peter Crawford going. Big Matt Rees, he can finish pretty well too, so it's really anyone's game for the taking. And you wouldn't think that any of the uh, any of the QBL semi-finals would be would be a you know wouldn't be a contest. All of these teams are definitely quality, both men and women's. And well, here's something big, dog. When was the last time the top two teams on the ladder were in the Southern Conference? I, I don't know. It's been a while. That's, that is a stat you'd really have to go back into the archives for because uh, the North have dominated, really. Brisbane have been really the only, only one to come out for a while. Yeah, and some of the Southern teams have been in the mix, but you're right, Jill. I think it would be a long time since since the Southern teams have occupied the number one and two spots and hosted finals, yeah, making hosted. The, the Northern teams come down and play them on their home court. And it's, you know, it's a huge advantage to the home team. You, you're familiar with the rims. The crowd is pro your team. And it definitely, definitely plays a factor. And, and you know... If the Rollers can get home here and, and Rocky can do the unthinkable, really, and knock off knock off Brisbane, we could be back in a couple of weeks for a three-game series still. How does that grab you? That's a lot of chit-chat. <laughs> no, I think Rocky, they have their work cut out just as much as the Rollers do too. As, as we've gotten underway in the second half up in Townsville. And... Uh, Sarah Ambrose knocking down a pull-up jumper to give the Rollers a one-point lead again. 36-35. The Lady Rollers holding it down against a very, very formidable Townsville Flames. Yeah, wow. They're, so they're back out there. <laughs> and interestingly enough, Abby Bishop rocking a donut at halftime wow. has not scored. That is a huge... Huge stat right there, Till. She is a force to be regular. She is 06 so far in the game. And probably speaks to the D that Luna Castro is playing on her. Obviously, this wonderful QBL program could not be brought to you without the amazing sponsors that help the Gold Coast Rollers program be what it is. Obviously, the naming rights sponsor of the QBL Cross Promotions, big shout out going out to Billy and Jackie Cross. Thank you so much for your support. It's Gold Coast Basketball, QScan Radiology Clinics, big shout out to Hal Rice. Good to see him sitting down there in the box with a roller shirt on. QEM, Unite Basketball, MG Southport, Dick Foss Dunn, long time sponsors of the Gold Coast Basketball Program. Quality handrails, core physiology and exercise centers, prestige group and apex agency. All these wonderful sponsors that help the QBL program be what it is. Legasics, makers of fine jewelry. And of course, Sony coming on board this year and giving us the, the gear to do this stream. Massive shout out going out to all the sponsors. We thank you so much for your support. As we will roll into the second half shortly. And the Rollers holding a six-point lead, looking to extend that in the third uh, third quarter. Hopefully, run away with it and book themselves a place in the grand final series. If anyone who doesn't know, the QBL, the grand final series is a best of three played over a weekend, so Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday if required. So that's definitely when your depth and your metal is tested. So. If the Rollers can get home here, they've booked themselves a place in that grand final series against either the Rockhampton Rockets or the Brisbane Capitals. 
Smart Money would say it's probably going to be the Brisbane Capitals, but you never know. We'll be back here at the Roller Dome in the second half shortly. Hope you guys are enjoying the action. Guys, welcome back to the Roller Dome. We're back here as we're about to get the second half underway, too. And the Lady Rollers are currently leading the Townsville Flames 44 to 37. Five minutes and nine seconds to go in the third quarter. That is massive, till The Lady Rollers are. Uh, Getting the job done so far on the road. What's your thoughts there, mate? Um, you know, I'm the number one fan for the Lady Rollers because I have been nothing but impressed with how they've played all season long, both defensively and offensively, and they shoot the ball with confidence and play as a team. And I don't care who you are playing against, that is always going to help you win a basketball game. If you play together, and when you get it, <laughs> you shoot that thing with confidence. So, yeah, good on the Lady Rollers. Let's hopefully they can they can keep that rolling. Don't mind We're the about pun. to start the second half here, Drewy. We are about what are to your thoughts? Uh, What's going to unfold here? I think it's been a, a super physical game so far. I think both teams have been a little rattled by how physical it is and uh, I think for the rollers I think taking care of the ball is key you have to take care of the ball and 
If you don't take care of the ball, if you don't turn the ball over, I think the rollers will be in good shape. As we get the second half underway, and Townsville with the ball, Wilshire at the top of the key. And we're gonna get a holding foul there. And Stalo fighting hard. Yeah, I think Stalo will take that foul there because he, he was sealed there by Big Reese. Would have been an easy two. Yeah, it would have been, but. Well, that's a long time, yeah, five seconds. Called on the inbound there. Yeah, Jonathan Mines just a little bit too lackadaisical. And a turnover ensued. So, expert commentary from the That's going to be unsportsmanlike. Oh. I don't think there was much in that, but yeah, that's the rule. Alex McEwen was all over that. Stalo picks up another foul. Yeah, costly turnover. And could be more costly. That's that Betts. He's a blue collar worker, isn't he? he he's, got, he's in everywhere. His three throw shooting leaves a lot to be desired, but other than that, he has been a shining light for the Heat tonight. As he makes the second. Just, Just as I say that, Tilp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he has just done everything. He plays hard, I know that. He does. He plays very hard. Defense and offense, both ends of the floor. As we see Matty Reese putting the moves on TJ Jop. And Thalo comes down with a rebound. Oh, there you go, TJ. Good to see both teams getting on the floor. There goes Reese Martin again. Just patient, letting it unfold in front of him. Nice little bump to clear some space too. Nice. Uh, speaking of such, there goes Mines. Oh, can't get that one to drop. And, uh, the Rollers have an opportunity here to push this out. Spencer's double team drops off to TJ. There goes TJ, nice shot. He loves that range. Reese is danger time here for the Townsville Heat. They definitely need to get a steadying basket here. I'm sure Josh Wilshire knows that. As two have got off the front of the iron and Spencer Parker cleans up the rebound. No foul. Spencer probably a little unlucky there. But that's in line with how the, this game's being called. Jonathan Mines in the corner. Yeah, don't leave him open. He will fill it up. He has shot well all night long. He's been another bright spark for Townsville. Young. Is, he, is that Sydney Mines' son? You're asking the wrong person there. I'm not... <laughs> That's Taylor, nice catch off the, the Reese fine there and finishing with the left. I think As, it might uh, be. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the, the Mines family tree. Oh, forced onto the one foot runner and there <laughs> somehow ends up in Reese's hands. And he puts that away, so. Yeah, very fortuitous there for the heat. Fortuitous, exactly what that was. Uh, rollers. Thalo's gonna square up into one. That's a bit long or a bit short, I mean. The yeah, rollers were a little bit little bit flat there, weren't they, on offense? So they have an opportunity here to to push it out. Two Thorpe's gonna jack one up with a 45. It's off the front of the iron. Are they going to get that on Thalo? Is that? Yeah. I don't know why it's a foul for getting a rebound, but if you go up, 
and come two hands on the ball. Like it's a rebounding contest. The referees what a little bit. What happened to our home cooking till? Yeah, well, it's three, three zip the other way now, so maybe it just depends on what quarter it is. Looks like the kitchen's off. There goes Mines, left wide open, and oh, it's Reese on the glass. Get the hand, and Wiltshire still, Wiltshire is still struggling. Ice cold, isn't he, Till? And that, that, that bodes well for the rollers. Uh, Christian. Putting his uh, left foot out of bounds there. Yeah. As we ever see and shoot that. the crafty veteran Peter Crawford. Well over 300 NBL games in a storied career. Come back, check back in for the Townsville Heat. And he's been a Townsville boy pretty much his entire career. Spent some time in Perth. He did spend some time with the Wildcats. Well, I think you'll find he played a majority of his NBL career and state league career, GBL career, ABA career with the Townsville basketball program as a Townsville junior, came through the ranks and went on to have a very, very illustrious NBL career. So it's good to have a guy, a, a, guy, a player of the caliber of Peter Crawford running around still in the QBL as Townsville have the ball and they're down six and really the rollers have really made a focus of doubling off those those on balls good defense there Reese Martin as Peter Crawford throws up an air ball and we're joined in the country box by the one and only Joel McGuinness that's not like it from Christian I saw after the last one LJ Rose was angry that Christian didn't shoot it and then Christian knew, so uh, he, he was ready to go that time. As Mines, he can't get that one to fall. Uh, Joel, the girls up four at the moment up in Townsville. Oh, nice. Oh, nice hands. Get there, LJ. Oh, 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 oh. oh too cool with it. It's been a quite hello, a... Hello. Oh, nice. It's been quite a physical game. Joel, what you, what's your thoughts so far, mate? Oh, boys, I uh, haven't watched much of the game, actually. I've been uh, pretty busy. Oh, <laughs> Give us the mic back, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dealing with this uh, huge crowd, uh, which uh, we're hoping for, but um, great atmosphere. Um, but I've only seen about five minutes of the game. So, uh, listen, it's just the bit I have seen is Townsville have given Gold Coast every opportunity to win this, get away from them. Um, Gold Coast just haven't pushed it out to that sort of 12, 15 point where you really start seeing them go away. Yeah, I think the referee no, was... Early on that whistle, I reckon. I think that could have been a play on right there. But he has our big dog said very happy with the girls. Up five at three-quarter time. Massive underdogs up there at Townsville. Wow, that's, yeah, that is big, isn't it? And Jackie Luna Castro bouncing back after going 0 for 17 last week. She leads all, sc all scorers for the Lady Rollers with 12. And wouldn't it be good to... It's Peter Crawford with a shot clock running down, can't hit one. And danger signs here for the Townsville Heat. As the rollers up nine with the ball. Tell me something, um, when we played up there in Townsville, um, Wiltshire absolutely carved us up uh, with their high on-ball action. Uh, how's Gold Coast defended that? Uh, well, what's happening though also is Wiltshire, I think he's about 0 for 5 from deep now. And... I think that's just taken away from how aggressive he is actually using those on balls. So, yeah, it's a little bit, I think the, the rollers are trying to trap a lot of the on ball stuff. So, that's going to get the ball out of his hands. But, oh, that's Reese. Oh, nice finish with the left there when Big Reese, he's been good all night. So, uh, Gold Coast still clinging really to the seven point advantage that they did have at half time, or it might have been six. So, Gold Coast. Yeah, Spencer Parker just catching 
right on the uh, closeout there, just a little, little bit hot. White, sorry, on the closeout. Drew, drew the foul on him. Yeah, smart play by Spencer Parker. As the rollers will inbound the ball. And we've got a seven point game with about four minutes to go in this third quarter. Oh. Reese Martin popped out of there, didn't it? <laughs> giving the baseline referee, uh, shall we say, uh, dirty look. Would that be a good way of. Abby, Abby Bishop with zero points, apparently. Abby Bishop is rocking a donut so far up there in Townsville. As the lady, the lady rollers getting the job done so far. Exciting, exciting times. Chuglethorpe from a 45. Oh. In and out. Matty Reese with a rebound and some fast hands. Probably Reese Martin. As we see Jaden Tom in the game. Reese Martin from the car park. No good. Jaden Tom. Batting the ball back out, and the Rollers will get another possession. <laughs> the Rollers just can't buy one at the moment. Yeah, that hurts for the Gold Coast. Had the mismatch, did Spencer Parker. Ended up shooting a one foot. Oh, that's a costly one there for Petrie. But yeah, <laughs> one foot runner was the best that we got out of that. Even after a good uh, tap out from Jade and Tom. So, yeah, Gold Coast letting, I guess, Townsville hang around. And they are not a team that you want to let hang around because there is still a lot of firepower on that court. Yeah, and we, we've touched on it. The Russia. Yeah, that's a moving screen on Crawford. A little bit late there was Peter Crawford. Yes, and the, the Gold Coast locals loving that call. Just an update for you. The Lady Rollers clinging to a four-point lead into the fourth quarter. It's Lady Rollers 59, Townsville Flames 55. And the Townsville superstar, Abby Bishop, currently still has zero points. She's 0 for 7. Townsville went, have gone back to that zone there. And that's what really, oh, good take from Wiltshire. He still can't buy one. He's going to go back up here because, I oh know, that's a good find of Reese. What Gold Coast need is someone to make a basket. <laughs> that is exactly what they need right now. It's just... All a little bit rattly up there for the Gold Coast. I'd probably argue, Till, that that's what most teams need. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, Good take there from Eustace on the break. Even yeah. after the score, able to leak out and draw the foul. It's been a exciting up and down game. But when, when you've got a score line of 46 to 41 and it's almost three quarter time, there's a lot of stink being thrown up. There is. Both teams. So just an update uh, for you guys. Well, the defense has been good. It, it isn't. Just an update, main. update for you, Till. The Brisbane Capitals, 83. The Rockhampton Rockets, 69. So the Capitals taking, it, taking the reins in that game there. And the Southern District Spartans women leading Ipswich Force women by 11 to 69, 58 in their game up upper districts. Oh, that's going to... I'm happy to leave my, I'm happy to leave my car with the team over by the As Christian Salasic makes a tough basket, put the rollers back up by eight. It's a spirited game out there, Till. No doubt about it. Jonathan Myers from the car park. Can't buy it. Eustace pulls down a big rebound. Oh. A little rush of blood there by Jared yeah, Eustace. Yeah, it would have been nice if it went in, but uh, up by eight. 
scoring's been hard to come by. Oh, that's a, a lot of steps there from Big Reese, but he makes a nice spin move. I think that was the first look at Peter Crawford's injured, uh, if it is his injured knee, he really lacked foot speed to get in front of Petrie there. As Petrie got a nice layup. So, yeah, interesting game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what to make of this. Both teams missing a lot of easy shots. So, the, Jonathan the players you were expecting to put numbers up haven't really for both teams. Yeah, Jonathan Myers leading all scorers with 15. Reese Martin with 12. LJ Rose with 11. Matty Reese has 13 for the Townsville team. And it's been a solid sort of all-round game. No one really on either side exploding. Just good, solid team basketball. Physical. I think the referees have done a good job of controlling the game and letting them play all at the same time. With a minute 33 to go here in this third quarter till, like you said, Townsville just hanging around. They, you don't want to give the Townsville Heat a chance. There's too much firepower on that team. They will come roaring back in a heartbeat if the Rollers do not do everything they can to put them away early. Yeah, well, it's always the home team. If they are clinging onto a lead, like the rollers are, if it does get close, it is quite often the home team that does tighten up a little bit more than the away team. And when you got Peter Crawford, and like the same thing that happened last week, Wiltshire couldn't hit a bucket for the first three quarters and then hit a big three. And... Um, yeah, very timely. So the rollers are going to put the Townsville away. Now is the time as that's too open for Wiltshire, but he still can't knock it down. These are the things, though, these turnovers here that the rollers, they're really going <laughs> to look back and... Yeah, I think uh, as oh Peter Crawford can't get that to go. I think Coach Conlon's blood pressure is going to be through the roof if the Rollers keep turning the ball over. They've got a golden opportunity to make the grand final series right here, and they don't want to let this one slip. So find Jared Eustace on the 45, little pump fake step through. Come on. Is that the best we've got right now? <laughs> oh, it's stagnant on offense that time for the Rollers. Gold Coast Rollers legend Huey Robinson in the building. Are you enjoying the game, Hugh? After a scrappy possession. Yeah, Gold Coast fortunate once again not to see a, a three-point bucket go down as Townsville missed yet another. Still an eight-point advantage. Rollers, are, I'd say, want to at least use the full 24 here. I've got some other commentary. I, I can give you some background on players. <laughs> <laughs> We, we won't ask Huey for any defense commentary because he never played it in his whole career. Well, this is a game where Hugh Robinson would be Hugh Robinson would be quite handy. Get a couple of leak outs. <laughs> he, was, he was well known for his leak outs. He was making the layout that was the problem. Get it from 10 to 20 quick. So 28 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Rollers 51, Townsville 43. And uh, sort of, oh, Spencer Parker exploring. Pass was a little, little too hot. Pass was a little too hot for Thalo. And uh, unfortunately, Spencer fouls. And that'll mean that. Yeah, it's a long way to go for free throws after 
pretty much incidental contact. We'll give we'll give the rollers the last play of the quarter, but you don't want to give anyone two free shots. And especially Wilshire, who's been struggling. He knocks out a couple of free throws. That gets him confident. He gets going again. You don't want that. Rollers crowd raucous. And Wilshire makes no mistake of the first. And it's it's great to see the roller dome packed out as Josh Wilshire swishes the second. And he's gonna get a little rest here. He's gonna bring Betts back in for the final 12.7 seconds. We'll see if the rollers can get a useful shot here. Townsville kind of extending the pressure here. You know, what would be a three-quarter sort of one, two, two. They find Spencer Parker wide open. He cannot make the make the basket and Townsville come away with it. It's Matty Reese well, from three-quarter court. Wow. <laughs> it's no good. All right, what do we got? Six points. It I wish it was 12, but it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. a six-point game to... Gold Coast letting Townsville Heat hang around here. 45 points, all of them hard to come by as the Lady Rollers still up by three with three minutes to go, big dog. Whoa. Yeah, the Lady Rollers clean to a three-point lead up there in Townsville. And Abby Bishop still zero points. Kayla Cox leading the way for Townsville with 15. And for the Lady Rollers, Ariana Mora has come alive in the second half. She's got going. She has got going. She's got 18. 18 and 8. Jackie Luna Castro with 13. Sean Woods with 12. It's been a good all-round performance by all the Lady Rollers so far. And that, that looks like it's the difference in the game. As... Uh, Sarah Ambrose also has 12. So the Lady Roller start is getting it done. Fowler off the bench for the Flames with 12. And so we roll into the last quarter here at the Roller Dome. The Gold Coast cross promotion men's rollers 51, leading the Townsville Heat 45. And we've got 10 minutes of basketball left here in the Roller Dome for the for the year, Till. But it's been a great year. I've enjoyed commentating with you. It's been good to see the Rollers be well, successful on both the men's and the women's side. It's definitely a lot easier to talk when they're winning. <laughs> and could we could we possibly see both Rollers teams in the grand final series? Well, I'll tell you in about 10 basketball minutes, big dog, because. That's all we got in front of us here. I need someone to stand up. I'm looking at LJ Rose, Reese Martin, and Spencer Parker. I think they're the guys that are going to stand up right here. And the council, they throw these different defenses at the rollers. It's almost Just like it's, a, it's, a, it's man, but it's not. You know, like it, it was almost like a 1 3 1. Petrie will step through TJ. Almost gets the rebound. And it, Townsville with the ball. Thank you. Yeah, the right thing to say, though. And they're doubling. You can see, obviously, the game plan is to double Wilshire. Oh, the bounce is out. Jonathan Mines in and out. Wilshire and from the top Wilshire. of the key. Oh. And Jonathan Mines doing all the hard yards. Offensive rebound. Good defense there by Char TJ. And we've got an off the ball foul here. And Alex McEwen has caught a foul on Spencer Parker. And he is not going to get any love from the Rollers crowd for that. Yeah, that's a third on Spencer. I don't think it's too big of an issue right now, but the offensive rebounds are. And. Yeah, the Rollers need to tighten up their boxing out, definitely. You cannot give the Townsville Heat two or three bites of the cherry. That is not... going to get another eight seconds back on the clock. 
And so Till with, with 49 seconds to go in Townsville, the Lady Rollers still leading the Townsville, hit, uh, Townsville Flames 67 to 65. Wilshire with a nice lefty finish through the traffic there. So, yeah, here's this extended. It is a zone. Oh. Well, the referee's certainly letting them play. There's no doubt about that. There was a lot of contact there, wasn't there? Woo! Great pass from LJ Rose and even better shot from Petrie. As Carly Patrick knocks down a jumper to give the, a three-pointer, I should say, to give the Lady Rollers a four-point lead. Another great defensive possession, TJ Jopp. As we, I think we got a wet floor out there but TJ Jopp has moved his feet and played great defense tonight been very impressed the pre a oh, couple of possessions ago did a great job moving his feet on the smaller mines and stayed straight up normally the Achilles heel of TJ Jopp is he likes to use his forearm when the player is backing him down and he kept his hands out of it that time So there is a, a buzz around the roller dome till Ooh. And Michaela Cox knocks down a three to cut the lead down to one. <laughs> and Cassie Dover very smartly has taken a timeout. So the Lady Rollers clinging to a one point lead with 23 seconds to go. As we get the game underway here back here at the roller dome, the men's rollers leading the Townsville Heat 54 to 47. It's been quite a physical encounter. As there's a foul being called. And a foul on number 14. Who was that on? Yeah, Big Reese, I think. He, uh, Spencer Parker walked through Crawford, but then ran into Reese and maybe he was just sticking up for his teammate there. Decided to give Parker a little bit more than he needed. Give him a bit of treatment. As LJ gets things underway, gives the ball to Reese. Finds LJ a deep three pointer. As Thalo got his hands on the ball. Thalo Green has been sublime on the offensive glass. Well, coming into this game, I definitely thought. We, we did say that Spencer Parker was the one up in Townsville that was doing the job and he just needed some support cast. Oh. Great tip out from Reese Martin. He gets the reward there from Spencer Parker. Oh, as Good challenge from TJ, really. It was almost a, a highlight finish for Mines as he was able to leak out. No one really getting back after a missed basket. basket. Well, the, the referee's... He's called a flopping flop, warning on Thalo, I think, for down at the other end. I, I, I'm a, I really had a loss to understand some of the, the rule interpretations these days still. It, it, it's completely different to back, back when we played. <laughs> uh, it really is. I, I, I don't understand it. I, I don't know what, what that was about, but anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a funny thing with rules. You, you think that they think they're doing the right thing by adding more as Mines knocks down the first and long on the second. Yeah, they think they're gonna actually going to help by adding more rules. Sometimes it makes things worse. As Reese is just exploring here. Thalo square up. That's going to be another two for Thalo Green. As yep, Jackie Lee Castro has knocked down 
as that one bubbles out. Big Reese couldn't handle the dish. So Townsville just struggling to put the ball in the hoop really at the moment. And that is uh, good news for the rollers as Reese Martin walks into one right there. That's really bad defense for the Townsville Heat. And he pushed it out to 13, big dog. So a little bit more breathing space. Yeah, you don't want to take your foot off the gas right now, do you, So. Oh, great D, LJ Rose, two on one. Spence is going to finish that. And I'd call timeout. What would you do? Huge finish there by Spencer Parker. What about that dunk, big dog, hey? Ooh. A little bit of sauce on it. <laughs> and the rollers, just like that, have taken, what is it, a 15-point lead? Yeah, 15 points with six minutes to go when the other team's only scored 48. That's a lot of points. Get some updates Someone for you. Someone go fix that net. So it oh looks like the, the Brisbane Brisbane Capitals are going to get home against the Rockhampton Rockets. They lead 99 to 82. What are the goals for? 70 apiece. <laughs> McCulley makes a jump shot. With 14 seconds to go, the Lady Rollers will have the ball. So they got the ball. They will have a chance to win the game. And you'd have to think the ball's going to go to Ariana Mora. It has to be Ariana. So they'll have the ball advanced. We could probably bring that up on the... Give me a second. So we're going to get back underway here, too, with the roller drone. We've got 6.18 to go here in this fourth quarter. Townsville down 15. They have all the work to do. Oh, good D from Taylor there, not to foul. A nice seal from uh, Shooter Hope is definitely something that they drew up at that time out, and it worked, but... Okay, now this is a bit more interesting. It Don't start calling the game tight now, referees. Come on. That's the fourth on Spencer, so they're going to have to take Spencer out. As uh, we can see here on one of the mobiles, Gold Coast girls, 14 seconds to go. They have the ball with a chance to win the game. OT up, up north. Oh, good find there. As Stalo Green gets his mandatory one charge for the game. And Susanna Wormsley. As had a shot. time expires up north, Wormsley had the shot from the top of the key. She'd love to have that again, but we've got another five minutes. And the Up Lady north, Rollers so uh, interesting times. Doing everything they can to join, hopefully, what will be the men's rollers in the grand final series. We may a even... A bit of full court pressure here from Townsville. Well, they've got to do something. Because right now, it's all the Gold Coast Rollers, the momentum. And good strength there by Thaler Green. Fine, they find Eustace in the corner. He takes a step in. Yeah, good poise. Nice work, Jared. Threw a good shot fake. Bought himself some time as the shot clock was winding down. Reese, Matty Reese has been. Yeah, he's been the best for Townsville tonight. He's been a force. There's no doubt about it. As Jonathan Mines is going to get a bit of a breather here. Interesting substitution there. Why are you taking Mines out? 
Maybe. Taking mines out, and it's the first look we've seen of Fig. So whether that's a defensive sub. Maybe it is, but maybe he's just buying, maybe he's just buying some minutes for Jonathan Mines because he's been one of Townsville's best, and I don't. Yeah, he's looked the best on, on offense for him, so definitely must be a, a, a defensive strategy for Townsville here. Fig is able to move his feet pretty well. Interestingly enough, the turnover. interestingly enough, till the foul count is three all. It's been lopsided one way or another for the whole game. And and all of a sudden we're at three all. So good job of the referees. As Coach Mick Collin wants a timeout. We're gonna take a timeout here. Five minutes to go. And exactly five minutes on the clock up North Hill. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, Lady Rollers. What do they have? Four-point lead. They had a four-point lead. So Townsville hit some big shots to get him back into it. Huge three-point shot by Michaela Cox to cut the lead to one. And... But yeah, as far as the men's, which we are sitting through right now, it's a timeout. But the <coughs> Townsville's just throwing a few different things at the rollers now. So it's just going to be a matter of LJ Rose and Reese staying composed. There's going to be a lot of traps, a lot of doubles coming at them. Uh, no need to force it. Clock is. It definitely on your side so looks like in the other women's semi that the sun district spartans women are going to take care of the ipswich force up there at karina only by seven though no, ipswich force fighting back they were down down big and they they fought back and yeah, very much an even competition wasn't it the ladies uh, division this year 100 percent and it speaks to the quality of some of the wins of the lady rollers this year Petrie a little strong on the back island and Fig's got a run out and uh, Townsville pushing up the floor the rollers need to keep attacking here I think you don't want to go into your shell and try and protect the lead I don't Fig know. is pesky and was able to poke the ball away on Reese Martin there. Well, I don't know. I don't know what Alex McEwen, what Reese Martin's done, to Alex McEwen, but that was terrible. Someone needs to tell Alex McEwen that this is the Gold Coast. <laughs> it's not oh, Townsville. Yeah. No, nah, the referee's doing a great job out there, but very tough, very physical game. It's Wuxia with a little runner in and out. And Christian Salisic away. The rollers just need to keep playing here. Don't go into your... Oh. Taylor unfortunately throws it away. And these are the turnovers we don't want. It is a matter of composure here for the rollers. Yeah, it's getting a little chippy out there. Taylor can't buy one with the left hand. No need to rush. Good boards there. Yeah, and we got another 14 seconds on the shot clock. Reese exploring. <laughs> I think Reese is surprised the whistle actually blew. Yeah, Reese had a couple of moments with the referees tonight there, but he was able to get through the seam, and I think he might have got one in the little on the back of the head there. So 
And the Townsville Flames have taken a four-point lead halfway through the first overtime up there in Townsville. Lady Rollers fighting hard as Reese Martin's going to go to the line here. Oh, in and out. And like you said, Tilby, you don't want to take the foot off the gas. You want to push this out to 20 and put it away. Credit yeah. Townsville, they're still playing hard. They're out there. It's Reece Martin. Yeah, the ten tendency is to think that you can just pull it out and use the clock, but... As the rollers come down with the ball. Ah. Stop this. Tough pass, and Betts is gonna get an easy one. The rollers just need to stay composed, like you said, till. Get the ball in the front court. Be strong with it. Townsville just trying to play that disruptive style of defense. Jared Eustace likes the look of Will guarding him. I think they call that little man syndrome. Yeah, a little scrappy. <laughs> As the Lady Rollers have tied it up with one minute 19 to go. Oh, here we go. Luna Castro with a three. An offensive, re oh, offensive rebound. So Townsville ball up there, I think. So we've got a 12 point game here and what are the referees talking about it? They're just gonna call the personal foul on. That's a, that's a good officiating there. No need to, to whistle anything else. Yeah, that's it. That was a foul. So we talk to the players and let, let the players decide the game. So great job there by Alex McEwen. What's going on? What, what, what's, what have they called? I've sort of been flipping back to the... <laughs> Lady Rollers have taken a one-point lead. Uh, we got... What, I thought that was just a, a straight common foul, but he's... I don't know what they called there. I'm not oh, well, I missed it. I'm too busy watching the, <laughs> the Lady Rollers go up by one. Yeah. So these definitely help the Rollers here. Four free throws. That's a little bit, a little bit of argy bargy off the ball. And they're going to have possession, so. Yeah, pretty costly for the Heat uh, as they're trying to make things happen. As we get things underway, only two minutes 50 to go here in the Roller Dome. Yeah, and you'd think Christian would have wanted that one to go down with. The Rollers. Well in command here. Two minutes, 25 to go. And it looks like the Lady Rollers still down one now. 76 to 75 in the first overtime. And they have the ball, so they get a chance to win the game. As Wiltshire sits down, I think that might be the last we see from Josh Wiltshire. Tough night for him tonight. Yeah, it looks like the Townsville coach couldn't really get anything going at any stage. Looks like the Townsville coach may have waved the white flag a bit there. T 
DJ, he gets that one to go. Trying to get the second. Oh, the Lady Rollers. Everyone's watching the screen. The Lady Rollers have just hit the shot. They're going up by two. Lady Rollers. And the crowd yeah. is going off around here. And That's the Lady Rollers. Ariana Mora. Ariana Mora, thank you very much. As we find Dallas says, give us one. Oh. And is it is it game over? We got oh we got a one, one second, second left. <laughs> oh hold your phone, big dog. In Townsville. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a night for Gold Coast basketball. <laughs> There's a lot of... Uh, Spencer Parker cleans up that one. Yeah, Todd couldn't quite get the roll there. No, it wasn't Todd, sorry. It was... Uh, who was that? Oh, nice finish. Spencer Parker all the way to the rack. Drawing the foul as the Rollers take a commanding 17 point lead as Petrie, he'll get an early rest. In come Jays. Jays Morrison, uh, big Jade and Tom finish this one out. Well, <laughs> and so we Gold Coast are going to have men's and women's teams in the finals, Big Dog. What about that? Has that ever happened, Till? That, is, that has been confirmed. There's a lot of high fives over there. <laughs> Joel McGuinness and the president, Jimmy Williams. They've called it. Turnover. So, yep. It's game over, Lady Rollers. Lady Rollers. Wow. Uh, we'll play the Southern District Spartans in a three-game series. And let's not forget, to they push the Spartans without Ariana Mora. And that is exciting for Gold Coast basketball. 36 seconds to go. Spencer Parker, he's been good all year and he's got him to the finals. Another great game. And uh, I'd be hard pressed to, to, no, to think that at the start of the season we would have both teams in the grand final series. Well, the men's team have played well all year. Just, just rubbing salt into the wounds as the Gold Coast cross promotion of men's rollers are going to take down the Townsville Heat 77 to 58 as the buzzer sounds still and 58 points holding the Townsville Heat to 58 points that is a great defensive effort by the Gold Coast Rollers. Yeah, wow. Townsville struggled at the offensive end, and that shows on the scoreboard. But full credit to the Gold Coast. Abby there Bishop. Times where they were struggling to put it in the hoop as well. And they Abby Bishop, 45 minutes, did not sit once, zero points. Wow. Great job by the Lady Rollers on one of the potential MVP candidates for the women's. That is huge. As the Lady Rollers, Ariana Mora finished 
finished with 21 points, 12 rebounds and seven assists. She was on triple double watch, three steals as well. Jackie Luna Castro bouncing back from going 0-17 in the quarterfinal. She finished with 17 points and eight rebounds. Carly Patrick, once again, good off the bench, so. Yeah, the, all the starters and Carly Patrick, the, the super sub, comes in and the lady rollers and the men's rollers both through to the grand final series. The men's rollers will take on the Brisbane Capitals at Orchid Flower Stadium in a three game series in two weeks time. They play best of three, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And the lady rollers will do exactly the same across town in Brisbane at Karina, they will take on the Lady Spartans and I'm excited for that matchup. That's going to be good. I think the Lady Rollers are in with a shot. I really do. They Over push three games. They push the Spartans without Ariana Mora, their best player. You would have to think that they will go in there with they've gone to Townsville, taken out Townsville. Yeah, the uh, they're going to come home and have a free bite of the cherry, nothing to lose. Let's have a look at some of the stats from the game here. So Reese Martin, who's all scorers, finishes the game with 18 points. LJ Rose with 14. Spencer Parker, 11 rebounds. Thalo Green with an ever useful nine. And How many boards? Nine boards for Thalo. Good game from Reese Martin, wasn't it? Reese Martin, sublime as always. And so we head into the grand final series with both teams in there. And I think you would have got some pretty long odds still on that at the start of the year. But <laughs> credit to the Gold Coast basketball organization, Joel McGuinness, Jimmy Williams, all the crew. All the wonderful sponsors that have helped make this happen. Cross promotions, obviously massive, the naming rights sponsor. And they've got to be excited to get both teams into the finals. It's been my pleasure, Till, commentating these games with you. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. We'll be back next year, bigger and better than ever. We may even, I don't know, we'll see. We might even head up to Brisbane till then. Oh, hello. We'll see. No, it's been fun, big dog. It has been Let's great. Let's see what happens here. Can the Gold Coast go two for two? Wow. I think both teams have their work cut out for them. I think the Brisbane Capitals have been the yardstick for the men's all year. No doubt about it. And they've handled a white hot Rockhampton Rockets tonight quite comfortably. And you would... I have to say that, that, that the Brisbane Capitals definitely go into that series as favourites. I like the Lady Rollers' chances against the Spartans. I definitely think, having pushed the Spartans here in the roller dome at the start of the season, and then adding their best player and, and 